Good morning and welcome to a little skilling ramble video. I just hit rank 10 overall for Hardcore Iron Man and I thought I'd use that occasion before I get past to make a skilling ramble video, first ever and maybe last ever, I'm not sure. In this video I'll finish up 200 mil cooking, get 150 mil farming XP, but mostly I'll be talking about the high scores and uh, sort of my skilling goals, my play style, my thoughts on these high scores how the other players are doing, what it'll look like in a year or two years. And yeah, like I said, probably a one-off video. I The collection log ep, uh, series, I have the clips for like two episodes or so. Uh, the next one is the Wildy Slayer one. I've had that the clips for that one for months, to be honest. Uh, I just don't like editing. And RuneScape and editing just haven't been a priority for me lately. Busy with uh, Uni and IRL. But I'll try to get one out this month, so that should be the Wildy Slayer at one. And then, spoiler alert, I hit rank three collection log. That's the one after that. So without a further delay, let's start out with 200 mil cooking. This is pretty much the setup I used the whole time. About 1 million carom wands that I fished on a fishing XP, very AFK. And this is my second 200 mil. After wood cutting, get a nice little screenshot with the camera wands. This is the perspective I used. There we have it. Yeah, camera wands were a very fun grind uh, in the sense that, you know, <laughs> I just don't have to play very much to get that. Uh, you know, fishing it is like 40, 45k an hour fishing XP and like three minutes AFK with the fishing barrel that was my go-to afk and then cooking them i would try to do every once in a while but it took me a while to finish it up cooking them is like around 250k if you're afking them you can like uh sweat them and one tick them which i barely ever did what i recommend for doing that is to have your camera set up like this and with the inventory like that but for afking i just did this Click, 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 and you know, the new AFK again, but we're all out. Big grats from Mr. Wizard, shout out to him. Now let's finish up farming next. 150 mil there. Now farming is also one of my highest XP skills. It isn't worth very much EHP because, I mean, doing farm runs is just incredibly fast. You, the effect of XP an hour is very high. So this XP isn't really worth anything, and technically you're not meant to do as many uh, farm or tree runs that I do. But I enjoy doing them, so I did it. And the question whether I finish 200 mil or not, it's just a question of how long do I play. Because essentially, I just need to collect the seeds, do birdhouse runs or contracts or a little bit of PVM to get the seeds, and then I need to actually log in once a day, do the run. Maybe I'll finish 200 mil, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't have a ton of seeds packed. Uh, yeah, there we have 150 mil. I don't have a ton of seeds uh, stacked up, so it's not like I can just do this. I have to actually play a little bit. As for which trees I do, I used to, I think, I'm not sure if I did it post 99, but I used to do papayas and maples even <laughs> but uh, nowadays I just do yews and palms upwards I still do the cow quat that's a cool one now let's switch over to one of the few AFKs that I have left and talk a little bit about the high scores temple and etc this is my setup right now for uh, during barrel uh, Barbarian Fishing, which is a decent AFK. And I have my screen marker set up, so my barrel down here. But yeah, let's get into the high scores. Rank 10 overall, very impressive. Let's log out, get that rank actually. Shout out to the Jagex launcher. A refresh here. Yeah, a small XP lead. I'll talk about EHP as well later because uh, not only Tyla, but uh, two people, 
that are below me in e XP are ahead of me in e EHP. I'm not going to explain like EHP and stuff. First, let's have a look at my current stats. Rank 10, uh, attack, strength, hit points, ranged. I used to do ranged in Nightmare Zone. Then I did attack until 100 mil, and now I've switched over to strength. I do this when I have to really hard AFK, like I go to the gym and then I check my phone every 15 minutes, or if I'm studying and I really have to focus on studying, not just, you know, fish on the side, then this is my Nightmare Zone is basically the same as not playing. And I have my Nightmare Zone optimized, so I get about 5k prayer XP per hour, which isn't a lot, but if I actively train prayer, it's like 60k an hour because you're meant to do it through Slayer, where you can get one-to-one -one Slayer to Prayer. But because I've done so much Nightmare Zone, I'm actually ahead in Prayer. I even have like one mil banked, I think. So NMZ sort of contributes to Prayer as well. And the XP and the combat XP is absolutely meaningless, to be honest, because uh, you're meant to get this through Slayer. This just inflates my account, to be honest. But on the other hand, you know, most people on the high scores, on the hardcore high scores, their accounts is a bit inflated. There's like maybe two ex exceptions or so. Yeah, same goes for magic, you know, through barrage tasks and stuff. And we have my two 200 mils, incredibly easy skills. Woodcutting is going to get easier even with forestry. Cooking, I don't know if it's going to get easier, but uh, it's definitely a waste for me to hit 200 mil. It's not like... I mean, if I do Temporos, I'll get more fish to cook. If I take these sturgeons from Barbarian Fishing, then I need to cut those as well, probably. Uh, and that gives me a little bit of cooking XP, but, you know, I quote-unquote zero-timed it, meaning, you know, I did it AFK. I did it when I probably wouldn't have been doing any other uh, relevant method, so I don't really mind that I'll be getting post-200 mil cooking XP, so to speak in the future. Fletching this is the only buyable skill that I do for irons. The buyable skills are fletching and construction and smithing. And I think smithing and construction are terrible skills and I don't want to train them, so I don't train them. Whereas fletching, it's okay to do. I do it doing clues, birdhouse runs every once in a while while I run around. I don't really like multi-skilling, like uh, room crafting and herbivore. Fletching is kind of annoying to me because those skills are so easy and adding more clicks to them makes it kind of annoying. I pretty much know that I'm not going to get 200 mil in this because I need to train a lot of uh, Slayer or Agility to get the GP for that. And I'd also need to include fletching in every single method that I do to finish it in a reasonable amount of time. Then fishing, you know, I'm currently AFKing it. Maybe I'll get a bit more. I don't see myself hitting 200 mil. AFKing it is like 60k an hour. Uh, I don't think I'll have that much time AFK at the PC in the future, but we'll see. Maybe 100 mil would be nice. Fire making, I have maybe I have 200,000 redwood logs banked i could use those up that's like 500k xp an hour but i'm not going to <laughs> i'm go i am going to do a little bit more winter todd i do that on, on occasion because i need the phoenix and with my sort of uh xp and collection log mindset this it's pretty decent to do winter todd it's very fast it's okay you know i'll do like an hour and i'll enjoy it but not much more than an hour or two at a time crafting I don't feel like mining sand, so I'm not sure if I'll get this much higher. Maybe I'll make my hides and get a few mil there, but no real plans to. Uh, no real plans to get any high XP there. Smithing I don't enjoy as a skill. Both foundry is terrible and buying gold ore is terrible, so I'm not going to do that. I might use like banked XP I have, which is probably one or two million. I'm not sure. Mining, I kind of see them releasing a more AFK mining method in the future. Uh, right now, nothing really compares to Redwoods and Caramwans in terms of EHP for the AFKness and XP. Like for mining, the most efficient method is 3 thick 4G at 125 to 135k XP an hour. 
and AFKing Amethyst is just terrible. It's like, I don't know, 20k. You can do am uh, MLM with dropping. That's like, I want to say 45 or 55k an hour, which isn't bad, but I don't like dropping methods. The reason I'm doing fishing is because I can just bank very easily and it saves me those clicks of going through the whole inventory and dropping everything. I, and it's even then, MLM, it just isn't that AFK. If it adds like redwoods for mining, it'll honestly de devalue the skill, which I think I'd, I'd view a bit more critically, <laughs> even if it would benefit my play style. But I have no real ambitions to get a high mining level. Maybe if they buff Blast Mine or make it more interactive or fun, I have a lot of dynamite saved up that I could do. I do the daily sometimes, or I used to do it very regularly, so I have a good chunk of dynamite. Blast Blast Mine, it's okay. You know, it's decent XP, like 80k an hour. The ores are very are pretty decent, but if it were upgrade updated again, maybe it will be fun and enjoyable. Then I would do it a bit. Herb lore is probably like the only impressive uh, level I have, or impressive to me, but also very easy to do. You simply need to do farm runs, herb runs, contracts. Slayer helps, but I got most of my seats through contracts, I want to say. Um, no real ambitions to get this higher. I've been doing a few herb runs again. I have a lot of seeds, so I can just do the really good ones like Cannontine, Lantodine, Pillet Flax. I have maybe two or three mil herb lore XP saved up, but again, I just, I'm not going to hit another big XP milestone for this, so I'm happy with 50 mil. Agility, maybe I'll do a bit more SEP once I complete elite combat achievements. I want to do Sepulchre again, uh, but that'll be a while. I want to wait until that disconnection protection thing gets added that's been delayed for quite a while. And then I'll do a bunch of the bosses that I've been putting off, like Grotesque Guardians, more God Wars Dungeon. Do the CAs, get Elite uh, CA, and then I'll have a pretty nice chance for uh, Elite Clues from Sepulchre. I need the pet as well. I would like to get that. But that, that's also just content that I don't want to do a lot of hours of at a time. I can do like an hour and... Realistically, then I either get a clue scroll or I get bored and I stop doing the method. <laughs> That's essentially how I play with all the sweaty methods. I like being able to do them. Like I can do barb lore fairly well. I can do three tick four G somewhat well. I can definitely hit like one twenty five ish k. I can't hit one thirty or one thirty five, but you know, being able to sort of get into the groove for like an hour. That's satisfying to me, but doing doing it for long periods of time, I'm I'm simply not built for. I have weak wrists, bad mindset. Nah, I, it's just not for me. Uh, thieving, also, um, that's just not a real skill to me. It's simply spam clicking, or at least the methods that I would be willing to do is just spam clicking. I don't like uh, artifacts, which makes the most sense to do on Iron Man, especially with the multi-skilling. But I. I don't enjoy it, so I'm not going to do it. I might do a little bit of plunder or something with decent XP and a decent pet chance. I could see myself doing that. Slayer, I always have a tendency to lock myself out of Slayer. I'll get a boss task and then tell myself I need to do this boss task and then I don't want to do the boss, so I don't slay for months. I've done that with like Hydra, with Arma, with Zami. And right now, my whole Slayer list is still optimized for Wilderness Slayer. And I don't want to do Wilderness Slayer, so <laughs> I haven't done Slayer in, in quite a while. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do this in the future. I would like a Venator bow. I think that would make it more enjoyable. And I would probably sort my Slayer list to be more collection log efficient rather than prayer efficient, which is the way most hardcores on the front page are doing Slayer. Then farming, like I said, pretty much time-gated for me, and just a question of will I be playing in a year? Will I be logging in every day enough to maintain seeds or tree runs? 200 mil in this one would be cool. Uh, farming used to be my highest skill for ages. It would obviously mean that my account is a very clear skiller, 
the way it looks. Uh, Runecraft, maybe I'll try Zaya Runecrafting for my AFK instead of uh, Barbarian Assault, uh, Barbarian Fishing with the Barrel, but I don't think it'll be enjoyable for me. And ZMI, Dayalt, it's too click intensive. ZMI at least, I just, I don't really enjoy running those laps and I don't plan on hitting like 50 mil, 100 mil, 200 mil, so why bother? Hunter, pretty fun. I think I'll do a little bit of Herby. Most of this XP is just birdhouses, uh, but herbivores kind of chill. And brain dead, you just click and the plugin tells you where to go. Construction, terrible skill. Probably have like two mil banked, but I don't want to do it. I mostly hate making planks. I think if I could like bulk make the planks, maybe I would do mahogany homes again. It's somewhat enjoyable. But for Mahogany Homes, I also need GP, or for any construction, I need GP, and which means I need to train Slayer, which, you know, don't really want to do. Then collection log stuff, um, I don't think I'm going to talk about this terribly much this video, but I'll just scroll through for the sake of it. Essentially also waiting for the his connection protection thing. We'll see how that's implemented. Then in terms of how I actually actually compare, am I really ranked 10? No, not really, I guess. Um, I'm... Let me hide that. Game capture. I'm technically rank 12 right now. Um, let me refresh. Rank 12, you know, some people are on zeros, but they're still a good chunk ahead of me, and... I could see myself flatlining at a similar point as some of the people ahead of me did. So I'm not going to say that I'm ahead of them in any way. And some of them play sort of intermittently. I think uh, Smithy logged out for ages and then sometimes he logs in and does very impressive months. He sends all his herb and stuff. Very good player. Just I assume most of these people just have something going on IRL. Then Mortal Coil. He's flatlined, I think. I don't think he's logged in for a while, but ton of EHP, very undervalued account. He doesn't have many melees or quick XP. I don't think he's even on the front page anymore, but he's definitely meant to be ahead of me. So hardcore skilling, what's it all about? Is this really impressive to be ranked 10? Eh, you know, it just kind of means that I've been playing for a few years and I've been logging in and I've been AFKing something that gives me XP. And that's why I'm on the front page. And that's true for most of these players, I'd say. There's not like a crazy competition going on. Rank 1 is just miles ahead of everyone else. He will finish 200 mil all, I think. He's on a great pace, very consistent. Uh, does very impressive methods, very efficiently all day. Absolute beast. He's Rank 1 is just on, in a league of his own, and then there's everyone else. And the second sort of league is these top five guys. We have Farmer Ricky, who also pretty consistent. Used to be a PVM hardcore mostly, then switched over. He has the danger skills done, uh, Prayer Slayer. So he's probably going to finish unless he burns out. Uh, Lydia Kenny has some IRL going on, also known as Socket86. He's just been AFK mining uh, Amethyst, I think, or Day Alt. He's the type of guy, you know, maybe if he gets a work from home job, from what I know, then maybe he would play again more and it would be realistic for him to finish for Mill All. But it just, you know, all, most of these people on here just have something going on IRL. So it's sort of a question of what will their life look like in a few years, if they can play more, if they still want to play more. Then Mr. Alkin, aka number one bass. Uh, he's very consistent, but kind of slow. I do wonder if he'll sort of plateau at some point when he runs out of uh, skills that he can AFK. He has sort of a similar play style to me uh, in, term, in terms of uh, what content he does. He doesn't really do the sweaty methods. Even when he does sand, he just like clicks two spots, which definitely progresses your account. He just does big numbers so he's slowly getting up there 
but uh, I'm not sure if he'll be able to like finish mining eventually or if he'll get bored of that. It's definitely a long grind for him, but long term he could definitely finish if he wanted to. I kind of wish he would put a priority on this. It would make this race for rank 2 maybe a little bit more interesting. But I don't think he really has any ambitions for high rank. Then we have a bunch of other players. Narrative is also a good chunk ahead. Donnie does mostly Nightmare Zone. I think he has a very safe hardcore. Uh, but, you know, still a good chunk ahead of me. Rank 1. Uh, I think he has it like rank 1 Fletching or something. Smithy logs in every once in a while. But he used to be rank 1 or 2 for quite a while. He used to be way up there and then just didn't play as much. You know, people have their reasons for that. Then Shampoo, similar account PVM-wise to me, has all the essentials, I think. Mr. Esnerp. You can't see this, but I don't know when they added it. Uh, if you hover over the skull, it actually tells you when the player died. It says, player died August 30th, 2022, 11.08. Which is pretty sick. You can't see it on the OBS, I think, though. Um, Esnerp died to CG, I think. Floopily terrible player. Hope he quits. Mr. Tyler, he's ahead of me in EHP. He already passed me a few days ago in XP. Um, you know, he has like 700 hours on, on me, I think. He's just mining day alt, uh, so that's why he's not gaining very quickly, but absolute beast. He does sweaty methods. He's, I would say he's like the only up-and-comer who's probably going to get to like rank 6 fairly easily, maybe even rank 5. Um uh, if he keeps putting in the same hours. And fairly new account, probably one of the youngest accounts on the front page. Bathley died a while ago. Then Mr. Adapt, he should be ahead of me as well, like I mentioned earlier. Mickey doesn't really play anymore. And then a couple of fairly inflated accounts. Mr. DMP, shout out to him. Ari Slash doesn't play anymore. Red Bull, fairly inflated as well. And then you get like more PVM irons. We got Mr. Funk. He's uh, rank four collection log as well, I think. More PVM focused. Bracefoot, obviously, the first grandmaster. Hardcore, absolute beast. Yeah, can't go on forever, but that's sort of my view on these things. Is there really a competition? Not really, you know. I mean, top five guys are definitely big gamers. And then after that, you get people like me and all these guys who sometimes they they sweat and sometimes they just afk and get the number up that's all there's to it uh tyla is definitely like a good gamer who went for it and he's getting up there essentially anyone could anyone who really wants to play a lot of runescape could get to the front page still uh, i don't think very many people are going to be finishing 200 mil all and with sailing coming out eventually, you know, maybe next year, if all goes well, uh, it'll be open again. And for sailing, to me, the question is sort of, will it be like Slayer used to be, where hardcores are sort of limited in efficiency? Because right now, hardcores and regular Iron Man are almost the same EHP-wise. There's no full calculation for hardcores, uh, but they used to be more limited with not being able to do Vorkath and the Prayer Altar. Right now, it's probably about the same if you do like Spellbook Swap, Abbey Demons. But for sailing, who knows what the meta will be. And if there's some wilderness uh, sea meta or some dangerous meta that hardcores won't do, then that sort of livens this up because it gives hardcores uh, more competition to uh, prove themselves and to do riskier things to get higher ranks and it also means that the top guys might risk it all to do a riskier method for better xp and then die and dying simply removes you with sailing getting added pretty much all these dead ranks will uh, fall off as well so everyone who's maxed and just logs in on day sailing releases will be 2278 total which means these beasts with 1.6 build XP will uh, fall off. 
you know, you can yield one way or another. And maybe we'll even get more skills in the future. I don't think I'll be around to see them. Uh, my like long-term perspective on the game is that I won't be able to play forever. Uni is approaching an ending. I've got like one or two semesters left, a regular uni, and then the final year, which is like a medical clerkship where I work full time in clinics usually. During that time, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing much. And after that, I got a few months until I get my medical license. And uh, once I work full time, I just, I don't see myself having much time for RuneScape. So at most, you know, maybe two years, I'll still be able to log in a little bit. But even now, I'm just not playing as much. I do wonder how long I can, like, maintain the front page. Uh, once sailing comes out, maybe I'll try that out next year. Get 99 just for the sake of it. But I could also just die sometime this year. Once the PVM ring gets added, I'll try to do a little bit more PVM when I have time. And even if I don't DC, I'm not I'm not the best player, so I could just die then, and I'd likely quit, to be honest. Uh, the game is fun, but the hardcore aspect and the sort of front page, it does motivate me in the term of, you know, it's it's so free to be up here for me, you know, doing AFK fishing, cooking carom wines, it's if I have like a show open or an online seminar or a lecture, it's to me, it's the same as not playing. You know, it doesn't distract me terribly much. During studying, sometimes I can't have RS open because I'll, I'll get distracted if a topic's really hard for me. But for the most part, I've just been able to do this alongside uni and not really be bothered by it. So yeah, that'll be all for today. I'm not sure if I covered all the topics I wanted to cover. I didn't really have a plan going into this. Um, I hope a couple of people found it interesting. I do enjoy watching other hardcores talk about skilling and their goals and or high level Iron Man in general sort of ramble uh, concept. But I don't think I'll be making another one anytime soon. Uh, feel free to leave a comment what you thought about it, what your own goals are. If you disagree with me, very welcome to share that opinion. All the best, good night, and thank you for watching.